Hey, how's it going? It's Mike Gowans. I'm co-founder over at oogletree.com. We're the number one site for online entrepreneurs to get the skills, the methods, and the systems they need to have success online. So go check that out if you haven't been there yet. But in this video, I'm going to talk about how to sell without selling using email. And I want to talk to you about the importance of having an email list and also some ways to actually build that list inside of this video. So what we're going to talk about is what you actually do to sell your list, to sell to people, to get people to buy your stuff. And what's cool about email is that it happens on autopilot. So very cool thing. Now, have you got anything out there that you're trying to sell to people or do you have some idea that you're trying to get across to people or influence people with or maybe you're a, you work from home at, at, with a multi-level marketing company and you've got products that you want to get in front of people or maybe you want to build that trust and that, you know, that relationship with the people that you're working with. If you have any of those things, then you've got to use your email. People use their email to log into everything, to log into their social media, to buy videos online, to, to buy movies on their TV, to log into their uh, Playstations and their Xboxes and just their phone in general. And here's the crazy thing. Email, everybody thinks it's dying. It's actually getting better and better and better because now our devices are easier to use. We get notifications much easier on our new laptops and our tablets and all this stuff and people check their email all the time. So let's just go ahead and use that and continue to use it and just know that it's gonna get better and better as technology gets better. Pretty soon you'll be checking your email on the front of your fridge or in your car when you're not driving it because Google is coming out with a way to uh, just sit in your car and it drives you around without you having to do anything. So you can be on your email and social and all that stuff. So here's what we need, we need a website, if you need a website, you may not. You may have uh, some other form that you're gonna be uh, using to attract people to. Maybe it's your website for your home-based business or maybe uh, you just wanna talk to people using the email platform itself and, and not take them back to your blog. But I suggest you get a website so that people can come there and get all of your content and you can stage a lot more content on there and it's the place where you can actually get people's email addresses so you can capture their email. Get response is the one that I use. This is an email uh, marketing providing software. So they basically give you landing pages, they give you uh, the form that you can put on your website or that you can put on the landing page to you know, send people to or they can put their name and email in. And then this is the program that you're gonna use to automatically send out these emails. So that's what uh, get response is. There's Aweber, there's all types of different ones. Just put in email marketing provider at your search engine, you can find that. And then YouTube, this is where you're gonna upload your videos. I think using video right now is the best. I mean, it's uh, you can see me, you can hear me, there's a visual thing going on, it's moving, so I got your attention, and you can just put a whole bunch of stuff in the background of it to just make it really good. So, video's awesome, make sure you're using video. So, what you wanna do is you want to get your targeted traffic to your website, to your blog, to your offers. You wanna capture their email, and once you've got their email, you want these emails to go out to them automatically. And in each one of these emails, we're gonna talk about what they need to do and how they're gonna actually sell without selling. It's really cool. So, now I'm also gonna talk about over here what you can do if you've already got a list and how you can kind of send something out to them to pique their interest and kind of find out what they're looking for so that you can feed them what they're hungry for. And that always is a great thing to uh, you know, know what your people want and then give that to them. So this first email that goes out, so let's just look at it like this. Somebody comes to your website, then they opt in, and then this is the first email that goes out, day one, okay? This email is gonna talk about why, or it's gonna talk about the journey or the opportunity that you've got at hand here, okay? So let's say that they came to your website because you were giving away a free offer. So let's say that you're uh, selling a brain uh, vitamin, all right? That seems to be kind of a popular subject, but let's say that you're selling a brain vitamin, okay? so. You got this offer on your website or on your landing page that says, hey, 
If you put your name and email on the page, I'm gonna give you 10 brain exercises and three different things that you can do each day to enhance your brain. So when you put your name and email in, I'm going to send you that. As soon as they put their name and email on the page, what you set up at your email provider is that that first email goes out, it gives them that free offer. It automatically emails it to them or it automatically redirects them to the page where they can download either a PDF, maybe it's a video that you created, or it's a text file, whatever it is, or infographic, whatever you've created, it automatically sends it to them right away. Next thing that happens is they, day one after that, they get this email. It's gonna say, hey, you know, welcome to blankety blank, or whatever it is, or hey, how's it going? My name is such and such. And then you're gonna say, hey, I wanted to let you know that uh, we've got some really cool stuff over here and, and tell them a story, explain how you got into something and then start talking to them and say, hey, you know, I've been studying brain stuff forever and you know, this is something that I, I've always been fascinated with and so because of that, um, I've really created some, some cool things that I wanna share with you and over the next few days, I'm gonna be sending you some stuff that's actually gonna help you increase your brain. Okay, so they're thinking, wow, I'm getting all this help. I'm, gonna, I, I, I'm looking for some kind of brain supplement or some kind of brain enhancement. And this person is now out of the nowhere. I didn't even know it was coming. They're sending me some really cool information just about brain stuff. And you're not talking about selling them anything. You're not talking about your product. You're not talking about some service. You're not, none of that, okay? Just pure, solid, good content. And you want to talk about why brain stuff is important, why brain enhancement is important. And you want to kind of talk about your journey, how you got into it, okay? And the opportunities that you found in it, but you're not talking about your opportunity or what you're selling, not yet, okay? Then that's day one, after you gave them your free offer. The free offer is right away, then the day after that is your welcome email kind of thing, and then you're... You're gonna be talking about why you're into brain stuff, your journey with that, and the opportunities that you found within that, and just kind of that whole deal. And then what you're gonna do is, at the end of this video, this email, this whatever, however you put it in there, I prefer video, and that's what I suggest as well, but maybe you just write it all out, but probably not as good a conversion with that, so just try to stick with video. Use your iPhone, your smartphone, go get a cheap camera from wherever, okay, Walmart, whatever you gotta do, all right? And, and talk in front of it, and you'll, you'll get good as you do it. Just keep trying, keep doing it, keep trying. Then, at the end of the email one, you wanna say, hey, in a few days, I've got some really cool stuff that I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be sharing with you. I'm actually gonna be going over more about what it's, what it's all about, okay? I'm gonna deep dive into some more stuff, some really cool goodies. Uh, you know, nothing for sale, just I, I really want to give you some really cool content, okay? So this one's more of how you got into it, why you're doing it, your journey, and then you want to lead into what the next thing's going to be. That anticipation has them looking for your email in the next email inbox. So you really, you got to pay attention and, and you really got to get them understanding that, you know, you're here to help them. You're, you're just here to provide them with some really good content and during this whole process, your authority's going up. They're going, hey, this guy knows what he's talking about. This girl knows what she's talking about. And they start to really, you know, anticipate. They're like, wow, okay, this is, this is crazy. <laughs> I went to go get this free guide, and now this person's like going out of their way to give me all this extra help. The next email, this comes a couple days later. This is day three after they opted in. Your email marketing provider automatically sends it to them. This next one is about the life change. So you, you open it up, you kind of recap what you talked about in email one. You kind of touch on that and say, hey, we talked about this, this, and this, and hopefully you got that. If not, go back and check your email, kind of redirect them back. And then you might put in there, hey, you know, I, I always talk about this stuff all the time on my social media, you know, or on my YouTube channel, and that's where you can kind of push to get them to subscribe or to like and do those types of things because as Google's changing, they're gonna look more of who's voting for you on social media. They're looking for more semantic type stuff, meaning 
all the all the content you got out there, everything that you're doing, they're looking for people that are getting voted for. People that other people are saying, hey, they're good, they're good, they're good. They're, and then people are pointing links to you or they're liking your stuff. They're commenting, they're sharing. That's the person that's going to get all the traffic. They're going to rise to the top in the search engines and they're going to be the people that they're the go-to. So always focus on, on social and, and kind of intertwining and being the hub of your niche or your focus and then getting them in and out of all these different places. Okay. Email two, you recap. Now you're going to talk about your life change and you're going to talk about some of the questions that you've been getting. So you've been in your market, in your niche, and you're, you're seeing the questions on people's other, other people's blogs, other people's uh, social media accounts, and, and you've been taking those questions. And now you're going to kind of cover some of the biggest questions that you get all the time. That's going to happen in this second email. So you're going to talk more about, it's all about telling stories, but then also intertwining that in with really good content. And as you do that, as you're building the content and as you're building this value to them, just free, solid, transparent value, you're gaining that, you're gaining real traction with them. You're getting real support from them. They're really into you now and they're really liking you because they're like, all this free crap, I can't even believe they're giving me all this free stuff for nothing. They haven't even, they're not even trying to sell me anything. They haven't talked about selling me anything. This is great. That's what's going through their head. And they're, they're, they're pro and maybe even they're sharing your emails with their friends. I mean, this whole thing's happening and it's just building you up more, building you up more, getting you more subscribers, more people opting in, coming into your list. Okay. And at the end, I'll kind of talk about some different ways to build your list. Um, but in this what email, now you're really just showing them what it's all about, going in deeper in what you talked about in email one. At the end of this one, you want to say, hey, in a few days, I'm going to really get in here and show you how, okay? And you're going to start talking about how things are really done, okay? And so you let that anticipation build for this next one. And maybe even in this second email, you might share a couple stories of people that you knew that maybe used your information or used whatever it was that you're talking about and they had some value in that, okay? They had some results, they had some turnaround, or they, maybe they went through a transformation. So using that third-party validation with the content that you're giving them is gonna draw more people into what you're talking about, draw more people into you, and they're gonna really start to wonder, you know, what's coming, what, what's going on here? So all of this is happening while you understand what your product is, okay? Whatever product you have, maybe it's the, the brain pill in this sense that you're talking about, you, you want to understand what that pill actually does, the results it actually gives, and you're subtly intertwining that in through all of this stuff so that when it comes to the big bang at the end where we get the money, when we sell them, that they're going to connect all the dots together. They're going to say, wow, he's, you know, they've been covering all of this stuff and, and this product that they give me at the end it, it covers it all. It does it all. And so that's, that's what they start to understand about being sold in this whole process is they're like getting sold. They don't even know it. They're just getting all this value. They're getting curious. They're wanting all this stuff and they don't even realize that they're being sold the entire time. It's, they're just enjoying it, right? So day five, email three goes out. This email is where you really just break it down. You show them how to do whatever, how to do these specific things, you know, how to get this and how to get that, how to get their, you know, solutions that you're providing them with your main product here at the end. You show them how it all works. You show them how to use different things, how to get, you know, whatever process, whatever service you have, you're starting to show them how. Okay. But there's always this like fundamental thing that you leave out that they really need and that's in your product okay they got to get it out of your product so in this every single one of these emails one two three you always recap the previous email you always kind of go over maybe some of the hot points that were in that email and then you lead into this one and you talk about how it all goes down and you really give them the nuts and bolts where they're like i can't even believe that they're giving me all this stuff for free. How's this even, I mean, how's this even possible? 
that somebody would just give me all this for nothing. But it's all dialed in from your product. You know, where the, the, everything that you're giving them is great, but it doesn't deliver what the product actually delivers. They have to get the product to get the real bam from it all. So in this email, you're talking, you want them to almost own it. You want them to have that feeling of ownership. You want to tell lots of stories here. And you want to let them know, hey, you know, if you want more of what I've been sharing with you, and you want to get something that just does it all for you, that takes care of it for you, that gives you the solution without you having to try hard or whatever it is, whatever the big relief is that your product provides, you can say, hey, in a couple days, I actually am going to be launching something. Uh, I'm going to be telling you about a product that has literally changed my life, you know, or it gave me these types of results, or it's provided me all this stuff we've been talking about in that thing, in my product, in your digital product, your course, your pro, whatever it is, okay, whatever you're selling. I'm going to be sharing that with you here in a couple days, okay? I'm going to, I'm going to give it to you. You're going to get the best price for it. And at this point, they're, they're cool with you saying that kind of selling type language because you've given them so much information. They know so much about your story, your background, your life, and how it's helped other people and how you've helped other people that they're like, wow, you know, they, they're wanting that now, okay? They're wanting whatever it is that you have to offer. And that comes in day seven, okay? So in day seven, you're going to send out this fourth email. It comes automatically. All these come out automatically. In your email marketing provider, typically it just shows a calendar. Okay, it'll have like a, a calendar in there. And you can set these emails up. So this one goes out here. This one they get automatically when they opt in. And then this one goes out. And then three days later, this one goes out. Then this one and then this one. So it's, you can stage it out and have those emails get sent. It's very easy to do. It's very easy to walk through. Plus all the email providers have you know tutorials and different things like that. And then this fourth email, when it goes out, you recap everything you've given them and then you go right into it and you say, hey, I have a link here on this page in this email that you can go ahead and you can click on and you can get what I have to sell. Okay, you can get my product. It's at the best price. You know, give them the guarantees that, you know, everything just really solidify the value and the protection and the security and all the stuff that you've got as your offer down here and you let them know everything, okay? You let them know you're here for their support and all that, okay? That's how you sell people without selling them, okay? It, selling, in, if anything, is when you basically educate your, your market to a point where they're just like, this is awesome. You know, if you give, 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 then you can come in and ask and they're like, wow, you, it's that reciprocity thing. You've given them so much, they feel obligated to buy, okay? You've educated them so much, they want what it is that you're selling. And that's the value of email. Now, here's the other cool thing. As you send out that offer, the next day you want to say, hey, I'm going to be, uh, well, in, in, in email four, you want to be like, okay, this offer is only going to last for so long. Okay, and you tell them it's only going to last for the next, say, 48 hours or the next couple days or whatever. And then I'm taking that offer away. I'm taking that link down. It won't be no good anymore. When you take away like that, then they're really like, I got to get on this. I got to jump on this. And so after day four, what you can do is you can set some follow up emails and a little bit more value. Okay, so what, what you do is you, you kind of the value part that you're going to send in these follow up emails. Those are going to be the ones that you just kind of recap. You talk about some other stuff, maybe how to use your product, maybe more stories, testimonials of people that have used your product. But these follow-up emails, they come maybe the fifth, sixth, seventh email. Hey, there's only so much time left. Hey, it's a couple days left. Did you have some questions? You know, da, 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 da. set those emails up here that come out right the next day. And that's where you're going to make a lot more money, okay? Because not every, sometimes people don't buy right away because there is a day left or a couple days. But when you send these follow-ups out, that's when they're, you know, really use the language of it's almost gone. Oh, gosh, don't miss out, that kind of stuff. Now, here's what you do if you've already got a list. You have this all set up, and you send them an email that's like, hey, guys, uh, I really need your help. I'm working on some stuff been putting together this product or I found this really cool thing that I'm going to be sharing with people and I just really need your help. 
what are some of the biggest questions? What's your number one challenge that you're dealing with with blank? And that would be your industry, your subject, your topic, whatever it is. You, you send that short email out and you have two links in it. Just, hey, if you could check out this you know, page and kind of give me, it's just a single question on there. What is your number one biggest challenge that you have um, with blank? And then put a couple places where they, you know, up at the top, put a link they can click on to get to the survey and then put another one down here at the bottom. Short, sweet, boom, punchy email. Send that out to your list. They're gonna go there. You're gonna get a bunch of people's questions that they have. And it's your survey. It's your what's the number one biggest challenge you have? You take the top three questions in that survey or that came back from that survey. You take the top three responses, and those are your emails right here. Okay, those are the questions that you cover in these emails because you'll know what the market's having trouble with. So in each one of these emails, when you go to recap, when you go to talk to them again, you say to them, "Hey, I know." you might be having this problem and that's the question that you got from that survey okay and some people what they'll do is even if they don't have a list they'll start surveying all the the market out there they'll go to blogs and they'll say hey what's your biggest challenge so if you don't have a list go out to blogs and do your research to come up with these questions that you'll have in these emails okay if you do have a list just send them a short survey Okay, just send them a, set up a page on your website or send them an email and say, hey, reply to this email with your number one biggest question. So if you don't got a website, let's say that you're uh, in a home-based business and they give you like an automated website or pre-done website. Just tell them, hey, send back an email that tells me what your biggest question is. I'll answer it, okay? And I'm going to send you out some cool stuff. Then you take those people in that list, you send them another email that says, hey, I've got some really cool stuff. I've put together, you know, three or four emails that just give you some really cool stuff. Okay, really great value. I want to send it out to you. And you send them that with a link in it where they can click on it. They'll go to a landing page. So they're already on your list. They click on a link that takes them to a landing page where they can opt in to this series, this campaign that you've got set up. Okay? So You'll find out, you'll, it's, what you're going to do is actually segment your old list. You'll find out who's interested in this new thing that you're talking about, this new product that you're offering, and they're going to go through this. You're going to reignite that list. You're going to find out you know, what you've got going on, and you're going to you know, get some more sales out of this old list. Okay. So to end this video, I know I talked about a lot in here. I know I'm kind of all over the place with things, but hopefully you get the general idea of what we're talking about here. But this targeted traffic thing, okay? You can go to blogs, you can go to um, social media, you can do all kinds of stuff to get research. And what I mean by blogs and social media, go out there and listen to people. What are they talking about? What are they sharing? What are they commenting about? What are they asking about? If you go to blogs, go to industry specific blogs by going to a blog directory and Go to your category that you're in, go to those different blogs, spend some time researching on there, reading through the blogs, connecting with people. Go to YouTube, look through the comments, type in you know, your keyword phrase for in YouTube that is in your industry, your niche. Go, go look at the comments underneath those videos. People are talking about, hey, well, hey, you said this, but can you cover this? That's something you're listening for on blogs, social media, and on YouTube. Those are things that you're listening for that you can cover here. It also, it works great for copy when you're trying to get people to your landing page. You can say, hey, are you having trouble with this? If it's something you're seeing a lot, they're going to go check it out. You say, hey, I cover all that stuff in these videos. They opt in. You start building that list. You start building that list. Then once you have everybody on a list, you can continue to sell them. You can continue to nurture them, take care of them, create a tribe, build a relationship with them because people buy from people they know, like, and trust. So... That's what you can all do with an email, okay? <laughs> Email's crazy awesome how, how, how valuable it is to you. Getting traffic. You can do paid traffic. That's the best, quickest, cheapest way to get traffic, all, although it's going to cost you. You can do pay-per-click, banner advertising. Uh, you can do solo ads where you're creating little things, little ads, and you send them to other people's email lists that they've already created. 
Um, you can do blogging, you, you do your keyword research, create blogs, like this is a blog post. Um, you can go out there and do social media, creating a bunch of you know viral type stuff for social media that's focused in your niche, that'll drag people back. You can do article marketing, all this stuff gets covered. We've got a course that we cover all this stuff in at Google Tree. Um, you can check that out. It's the master course uh, up at the top here of this website. And if you're getting this video anywhere else other than at my blog or the website, then head over to oogletree.com. Uh, you know, like us on Facebook, like us on, uh, you know, subscribe to us on YouTube. Uh, we're on Snapchat, Instagram. We're all over the place, okay? And we're here to help you. But uh, hopefully this helped you. If you've got any questions in the comments below, write your questions and I'll be glad to get back with you and help you. My name is Mike Gowans and if you are focused on being an entrepreneur or you're wanting to you know, extend yourself as an entrepreneur, tip my hat to you and I know that you can take small daily actions each day. Grow, grow, grow and uh, we'll talk to you soon.